Good morning to you guys. Well, it looks like this TikTok thing will probably happen, but it's going to take some time. So President Biden has signed a law that says TikTok must be sold within a year. If not, it will be banned here in the United States. The law gives TikTok's Chinese parent company ByteDance nine months to make a deal. That window can be extended another three months if progress is being made. TikTok, of course, says the law is unfair and they will fight it in court. The company is also concerned that China might not even let ByteDance sell the app completely, especially not the secret sauce, the algorithm that serves up those videos that keeps people coming back for more. The law was passed on the grounds that TikTok poses a national security risk and could give China info on American users or spread misinformation. And there's another AI powered gadget on the market and this one is getting slightly better reviews. It's called the Rabbit R1. It's a small AI device that fits in your pocket. This one has a screen and a camera. It's a $199 device. It can handle basic questions using voice. It uses AI to answer those. There's also music playback, restaurant searches, note taking and more. But some promised and more ambitious features like the ability to check email aren't quite there just yet. Still, reviewers have been a bit more favorable to this device versus that other one we talked about last week, the Humane AI pin, probably because it's less than a third of the price and there's no monthly cost. Still, uh, many wonder what these devices can do better than a smartphone. That's literally what I was gonna say. I mean, I don't know how advanced Siri is these days, but well, you know. th that's the thing. Everyone's just saying, why don't you just improve Siri? Yes. And just make it like yes. a chat GPT. Yes. And then we don't need a separate device in addition yes. to the smartphone. Nobody wants to give up their smartphone. You already have the best computer in the world in your pocket. Yes. Why do you want something else that Preach. doesn't work as well? Preach, good? Rich. Preach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Apple has set a date for you its don't next know what's event. In my pocket, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I. Don't touch it. I, yeah, <laughs> definitely not. Literally or figuratively. Yeah. Uh, Apple's next event will happen on May 7th. Now might not be the time to buy a new iPad as the company is expected to show off new iPads at the event, which is being held virtually. The invitation sent to members of the media shows an image of the Apple logo being drawn with an Apple pencil. It says the words, let loose. Uh, rumors say the new iPad Pro will have a better screen, faster chip, and the front camera will be moved to a better spot for video chat. There might also be a new Apple Pencil. I know Megan's been waiting for that. Yes. <laughs> Very excited. And that new keyboard you've been asking me about. Uh, <laughs> Apple might also announce a new iPad Air. The current model has been hard to find in stores, which usually suggests a new one is on the horizon. Are you going to be at that event? Uh, yeah, because it's at my computer. It's a virtual event. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. My bad. So this one's virtual. As far as I know, it said, join us to watch online. Ah, at least you got an invite. Yeah. Uh, richontech.tv is the website to go to if you want more information about anything I mentioned here.